up? What up, you guys? It's Blackwing2040. It's time I do a little bit of a top 10 since I haven't done one in a while. And since we're getting a big, epic Dino Power Rangers team up later on in the year, I figured why not do my top 10 favorite team ups. Now, granted, this wasn't a very easy list to make because there's a lot. Some good, some bad, but of course, we all know there's one specific team up out there that shouldn't be named, and trust me, that's not on the list, so you guys can forget about that one. But I'll give you from 10 all the way to 1, and of course, I will be giving some honorable mentions, and don't feel bad if your favorite team up didn't make the cut. Trust me, there was a lot of good ones out there, and this was not a very easy list to make. So, let's get this thing started with number 10, being Shellshock. This was the team up between the Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers. And like I said during my review of Power Rangers in space, this team up was kind of not that great. If you were showing this to a younger audience, yes, kids would think this team up is cool. But once you look at this team up, you know, as you go on in life later on, you look at it and it's like, yeah, this team up was not that great. And we all know Ninja Turtles, the next mutation wasn't that great of a show either, so. But I'm still putting it on here because it's for fan service. It's not that bad for fan service wise, but watching it now, it's not that great. So on to our next one, number nine, Rangers of Two Worlds. Now this was the first ever Ranger and Ranger team up ever. This was close to the end of Power Rangers Zio. We had the Zio Rangers team up with the Alien Rangers. And this was also basically the farewell episode of Billy. I would say this team up was good, but only thing that was lacking was, you know, the full on interaction. But I can't really put blame to that because this fun fact was also the first ever team up from the Sentai footage because this episode, these two episodes borrow footage from the Sentai team up um o-ranger versus cocker ranger and of course there wasn't as much interaction so i can't really give this team up so much blame but it was still cool seeing you know two ranger teams team up for the first time and it was awesome of course it was a good farewell episode for billy so rangers of two worlds number nine on to number eight trakina's revenge this team up is a bit of a guilty pleasure for me because growing up i loved this team up like i had this team up on vhs i watch it all the time <laughs> i even know the whole team up by lines by heart the only thing the problem this team up has it's mainly focused on a little girl while the rangers barely get any interaction at all you had the lost galaxy rangers and the lightspeed rangers two strong teams coming back to fight a real tough baddie trakina but of course trakina is barely used her original actors actress is not there and there's barely any interaction between the two ranger teams and of course this team up also uses footage from a sentai team up movie um gogo -Go five versus ginga man so not the best but it was okay it's just a guilty pleasure of mine i know not a lot of people love it but it's not bad it's just when you have a team up that's supposed to be met with rangers and a little girl gets the main focus of the entire team up that's a bit of a problem on to number seven dimensions in danger this was our most recent team up in power rangers back in power rangers super ninja steel and boy it felt like you know we haven't gotten a good decent team up in so long and that's what dimensions in danger gave us we had a plethora of all-star past power rangers coming up to team up with the current team you had tommy morphing into all multiple versions of his ranger form introducing the master morpher into this universe and it was just it was just cool it was really cool it's not the best i wish it was a bit you know longer but it was still pretty good of a team up and we had just a plethora and a wide range of past ranger actors to come to come back not much interaction, that's my bit of a nitpick, but it was still satisfying to see so many rangers come back, and it was just awesome. That's that's what I can say about Dimensions in Danger. 
on to number six time for life speed now i know you guys know time force is my all-time favorite season of all <laughs> it's my favorite season of all time but the team up episode just neither here nor there oh again with team ups being a singular episode time for light speed gives us you know of all villains to bring back why choose to bring back viper viper didn't do jacks barely did jack squat during her season and then you of all villains to bring back from light speed you choose her and there's not that much interaction with the ranger teams I mean, there's a nice, cool, you know, jacket ex exchange at the end of the episode, but there wasn't really much, you know, interaction. And on top of that, Ranzik didn't even get any action in this episode either, which is very crazy to me. The many times I've watched this episode, Ranzik does not do anything. I mean, besides help Viper get the crystal that she that she needs, but other than that, Ranzik and Adira don't do anything. That's just about it. Once the fight starts, he leaves. But I will say we still get some cool action with, you know, the mega battles and the battleizers. It was it's just like a lineup of toys that we see on the TV screen. So that's just, you know, a guilty pleasure for me. So that's not the best team up, but still still satisfying. All right, next number 5 is History and Wormhole. Now the reason why I put these two together yes granted it's two separate episodes but it's still the spd team teaming up with the dino thunder rangers i would say of course history is a better one because we see you know the main three dino thunder rangers teaming up with the spd rangers in swap mode and the action in that episode is just jam-packed while wormhole on the other case suffers a little bit from production issues because Jason Dim and Frank didn't come back to reprise his role as Tommy so they had um the actor who played Trent do the voiceover dubs for Tommy in that episode and Grant it was cool we got some battle battleizer action and that's always cool to see but the only thing I could say was it just didn't have enough interaction with the Rangers that's but I will say, for worm Wormhole, the whole no one gets inside circle that happens in the episode is still still epic moment. Granted, I used to think that's that moment was a bit cheesy and annoying, but now that I look at it more and how deep it is, it's very important. And it's really cool. Really cool, by the way. Next, for number four, Forever Red. I remember this being the first ever Power Rangers team up I've ever seen seeing 10 red rangers on the same screen in the same place was just mind-blowing yet everyone coming back jason tommy tj andros leo carter wes eric oracle what more could you want from this team up and great i know it wasn't long it was just 30 minutes but it's just just what more can I say about Forever Red? Especially when we got that epic morph. That team up is still up there as one of the top tier team ups. By far, top five. And as you can guys see, I have no words to describe Forever Red because it's just so, it's just so awesome. All right, number three, to the 10th power, the power of pink. Again, two separate episodes, but still considered a team up. So here we have the In Space Rangers teaming up with the Lost Galaxy Rangers and they're fighting their enemies this episode of course are the Psycho Rangers. Now the first bit, the Rangers defeat the Psycho Rangers easily, hands down. But what happens after that, Psycho Pink, you know, survives. She's hell bent on destroying um, the Pink Ranger and not only does, you know, the Rangers are able to defeat Psycho Pink, the team up episode ends on a sad note with the death of a ranger this is what i call peak power rangers content peak content right there it was sad but of course they made up for it in the episode after that when Corone came in and retrieved the pink quasar saber but that team up was just jam-packed with just drama dark storytelling 
death of a ranger, which you would never see that in a ranger show, but you still see it anyway. And it's just wow. Sad, but it's also just wow. That's all I could say. On to number two, Thunderstorm. This was the first team up in the Disney era between two teams. It was the Dino Thunder team with the Ninja Storm Rangers, and it was really, really good. I remember watching these two episodes for the first time and just seeing the Dino Thunder Rangers face off the Ninja Storm Rangers. It was just crazy. And the best part about this team up, we had a cool out of suit fight. That's another thing. Out of suit fights are awesome. And we got that with the Dino Thunder Rangers using their powers with the Ninja Storm using their elemental powers. It was just awesome. And of course, the team up morph was just epic as always. And having, you know, the background music be the theme songs of the particular Ranger season, it was just awesome. And also, we got a cool fight scene between Mezagog and Lothor, two main villains, which we I never thought I would see. That was also epic. And of course, Mezagog being the victor. But still, that was just awesome. Now, before I tell you my number one option, let's talk about the honorable mentions the first being always a chance the team up between adam and carlos adam returns in in an episode in space where carlos feels down on his luck and he doesn't feel like he's good enough to be a ranger adam comes back he also morphs with a broken power coin desperate move but still an epic team up to see adam rejoin his success his, yeah, his successor. Next, True Blue to the Rescue was also a team up with a former, Turbo, tur well, not former, a former Ranger, Justin. And I feel like maybe we should get Justin to come back in later episodes, because it would be interesting to see, you know, Blake Foster return as Justin and say like, hey, I was a Ranger back since I was a kid. So, <laughs> but besides that, it was cool seeing, you know, him, Justin and TJ interact as two Blue Rangers working together. That was pretty cool. Next is the Poise Show. This was the Christmas episode of Super Ninja Steel. And of course, we weren't given the proper interaction between, you know, the Sundarso brothers in Dimensions in Danger, but we got it here. And I'm glad they made up for it. It's not great, but I still applaud them for actually being able to do this interaction, especially between these two brothers who are hardcore Ranger fans and they are excellent Rangers in my book. And my last honorable mention is Once a Ranger. I, like I said, Once a Ranger was awesome, but not great. Half good, half bad. That's what I could say about Once a Ranger. It was an anniversary team up. We had an all-star team of Rangers show up, mainly Disney. From the Disney season and Adam who was from the OG Saban era like I said half good half bad my only thing was there was no it was barely barely interaction between those two Ranger teams and plus the overdrive Rangers gave up so easily saying like oh these new Rangers are here well I guess we're not needed so see ya we we decided to quit but of course the team up happens which was cool and that was it now for my number one and if you guys know me you already know this is my all-time favorite team up of all time my number one pick for a power rangers team up reinforcements from the future this is the go-to this is the goat best team up ever because here's my reasons a continuation from time force ranzik gets the best redemption arc ever and on top of that, you get one of the best team up morphs ever. I can't go on and tell you how great this team is. It's just full of wholesome Ranger content. A lot of interaction, a lot of fight um, choreography, which is done by the great Koichi Sakamoto. That man's awesome. It's just epic to watch. And the picnic scene at the end of this um team up episode it's just so wholesome content that's one thing these team ups have been lacking it ha that's what the franchise has been lacking the whole time the whole time wholesome content so those are my top 10 ranger team ups 
In the comment section below, tell me what are your favorite team ups? What did you like about them? What you didn't like about them? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, click that bell to be notified whenever I do a video or a live stream. And as always, I am Vengeance. I am Darkness. I am Blackwing. Stay golden and may the power protect you.